Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Really quickly, I just want to say I'm very sorry that last week I did not post a video. I was planning on posting a story time video like I told you guys on Instagram and I just woke up really late. I had went to bed at like 4 a.m. Woke up at like 3 p.m. I just was not feeling makeup or anything and I just did not feel like in the mood to film the video. So if you still want a story time video about the couple stories I was going to tell you, let me know in the comments below. But this week's video is going to be showing you all of my favorites of 2015. I know it's like halfway through January and I'm just now getting into this video. But I promise you guys in January, I in January, in 2016, my favorites videos are going to be like frequently. I'm not going to do a January favorites only because, um... I'm doing this favorites in the middle of January, so um, I'll just start off in February. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I have a lot of products, and they're all in this really ginormous Sephora bag. So, yeah, um, I'm going to start off with the shampoo and conditioner I've been using lately, and it is, sorry, it's like what? It is Buyer to, I don't know, this is what it's called. Um, anyways, and it's for, like, um... Hair, like if you've dyed your hair and stuff like that. So this is what I've used, and I didn't dye my hair um, recently. I highlight my hair a lot, and when you highlight your hair, you bleach it and stuff. So I don't know. This is, I mean, it's like fourteen dollars a bottle or something like that. So it is expensive, but it's like the best like I've ever used. I it smells amazing. It makes your house so, like your hair. I cannot talk right now. It makes your hair very like shiny and smells good and pretty and I just I love this stuff sorry this one's like halfway full and this one's empty this is the shampoo and this con conditioner um so yeah anyways that's that and then as you guys know I've been loving fake lashes lately um majority of the time I'm wearing fake, fake lashes and I talked about these before the Ordrell is A or D E L L lashes and 105. These are them. And I don't get me wrong, I love these. These are will forever be my favorite. But recently I went to, these are like $15 a pack, and I know that's really expensive. But, anyways, recently I went to Walmart um, with some friends like late at night, and we were just looking at the makeup. And I saw these by Kiss and the number one. And basically, you get four pairs and one free for $8. So you're getting five pair of lashes for $8, which is amazing. Um, better than the other ones, but I'm wearing these today actually, and I love them. They're just really hard to apply sometimes, but um, if I had to choose, I'd probably choose the other ones, but I love these as well. So yeah, I have those. And then some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes recently are the is the Naked I'm gonna case Smoky. I've been loving this palette um, like the last couple months. Well, not really last couple months. I got this like during the summer and. I love this palette. I just, I'm obsessed with it. So the Naked Smoky is definitely one of my favorites. And then the other one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette. I like freaking love this palette so much. I remember it took me forever to find it because I went to two different Sephora's. They were sold out. It was sold out online and it was just a nightmare. But I finally got it and it's one of the best palettes I've used by them. So yeah, I definitely love those. Moving on to my, along with my eyelashes, I love, love this eyelash glue duo, and it's the clear kind, the white clear kind, and this is just like the best thing ever. It's like $9, and it's the best $9. Um, anyways, okay, so some bronzers I've been loving is, of course, the Hulu Benefit bronzer. That's a must. And then the MAC Global Glow Bronzer, I've been wearing this one frequently lately and it just has a glow to it. You've seen these products before. A lot of these you've seen, it's just products I'm like obsessed with. Like I think you should try out, you know? Anyways. Sorry, I'm just like Okay. Moving on to foundations. Um, I used to be a drugstore foundation person, and don't get me wrong, I still use my drugstore foundations, but I went up to high end, I tried Sephora, I did not like Sephora, and right now I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation, and this is life, literally this is my life, I love this, I love it because not only is it the pump form, I love foundations that have the pump to apply on your beauty blender, it's just amazing, and then of course the Makeup Forever HD high definition pressed powder, this is gorgeous for pictures, just basically anything. I always tell people when I do their makeup that I'm going to make them look like a ghost because it's like white, you know, but 
obviously when you apply it, it's not white, you know? So if you thought that, it was just a joke. Moving on, I, of course, contouring is like the big thing in 2015, and I became a part of that. I contour my face 24-7, and it's literally my best friend. This has been my best friend, the Cover Fix. I feel like nobody knows about this palette but me. Like, people know about it, but I just feel like this palette, powder, I mean, palette needs to get more use like it's just the best contour palette mine's horribly messy i know but i have used this as you can tell i've hit pan on the first one it is just oh my god it is life and i'm obsessed with this it is the best 40 bucks i've ever spent and i'm like literally debating if i should go buy another one just in case it were like go out or something anyways um moving on to some moisturizers. My two favorite moisturizers are the Aveeno Ultra Calming. I put this all over my face before doing makeup. And then, um, this is supposed to actually finishing primer, but I do it, um, after I put this one on. And it is by Remnall Linden Lasting Finishing Primer. And I love those two. And they're just amazing. And I'll with that. I have a couple brushes to show you guys. Um, not too many, like I said. But, I have this brush which I've been loving for my eyebrows and it is by Avita, the number 5 brush. It is just amazing. And then for bronzing, I've been really loving this. It brush is by Ulta Live Beauty Fully. It just has a gorgeous like kind of like contouring look. I mean not contouring. When you browse, you know, you want kind of like a slanted but fluffy kind of brush. And this is just really nice for that. And then, of course, for my face powder, I've been using the BH Cosmetics 113. And I absolutely love this brush. So, yeah. Those are just some of my favorite brushes recently. And I love the Beauty Blenders. Don't get me wrong. But I really love these um, blenders by Ulta. You can get them actually at Walmart now, which is really exciting, but anyways, I know mine's really dirty, so I'm sorry about that. I actually have another one, like a brand new one, um, that I get the two-pack, mostly want to buy these. But I like it because it has like a flatten, um, for your foundation, and I love it, and it's just amazing. Um, moving on to some blushes. They're both by Torrid, and one of them is in flush, and the other one is in exposed. This is like a kind of like a rosy cheek kind of pink kind of neutral pink kind of look and then this is like more of a nude um blush and these two have been my favorite lately and i've been wearing the nude one i've been wearing this one recently every day um but yeah i definitely love those and then if you're wondering what is on my lips right now i'm going to go ahead and talk about some lip products so right now on my lips is this lipstick by Revlon in 477 Black Cherry and it's just like a dark uh, lip color and normally I'm into bright lips and you guys know that. But I've been into nude lipsticks and dark lipsticks lately and my nail just got stuck in my scarf. So some new lipsticks. Um, these were, This was like the first new lipstick I tried out by Revlon and it is in the color 671 mink and it's just like a nice nude kind of lipstick i talked about it in a video before but it's like the perfect drugstore nude lipstick and then my higher end one by mac is in a45 paris Dips, and it's another gorgeous nude lipstick and then um by Torrid, this one is in Bellani, and I just like it because it's like a rosy kind of pink, but kind of also nude, and I don't know why it won't go up. Nude kind of lipstick, and she's so cute, and um, I got a pack of these, and they're all mini ones, and they're just so adorable. And then, um, during Christmas time and holidays, like, or the July red is like the color, and I got this Kat Von D, um, and I love it's a liquid lasting um, lipstick. But it's kind of like lip gloss, but it like is like a lipstick lip gloss, like sticks on, stays on, you know. And this is such a gorgeous red. I don't know if you can even tell um, right now in this picture. I am a big fan of red lipsticks, but I don't like how it gets on your teeth. So this is like the perfect thing. Um, it is just amazing, and I love it very, very much because it doesn't go anywhere but on your lips, and it stays on your lips. You can do whatever, and it's still on your lips. Um, I talk about it all the time, all the time. And then moving on to some brow tricks. 
I'm not a big person on filling in my eyebrows, but I do like to do a few things to my eyebrows. So the first thing I do is I use my NYX um, eyebrow marker, and this is just like the brown one. I use that, and then I also use my Give Me Brow by Benefit. But recently I've been really into like filling in this part with the, um, I don't even know what you call that. I, I'm, I'm wanting to be a makeup artist and I don't even know what the part right here is called. Wow, Taylor. I just call it an eyebrow. But anyways, by Anastasia Burberry Hill. And this is in Caramel. And I just love this because it's two colors. And I just like it to just kind of blend in my eyebrows a little bit. Especially in the wintertime, my hair is darker. And in the summer, my hair is lighter. So it's nice to have, like, two different colors to choose from. And then moving on to some mascaras. We all know that you have to blend in your real lashes with your mascara. I mean, with your fake lashes. And also the bottom line. But to blend in my lashes, I love the Better Than Sex by Too Faced Mascara. It is the best mascara to use for fake lashes. And then on my bottom lashes, I've been loving the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara as well. Both amazing mascaras. And I'm freaking excited for both of them. And then, of course, my waterline has always been the LA Colors by the Dollar Store. I know mine's like so tiny and it's literally almost done, but it is the best amazing product ever. To prime my eyes, I also love the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I talked about it before. To go along with it for my eyeshadow stick on, I use the NYX Eye Jumble Pencil. This is just the one in cashmere, but you can use any one you want. For highlighting and um, under eye concealer, I use the e.l.f. one, and then for highlighter, High Beam by Benefit has been one of my favorites. Now, moving on to some electronics and other things. The recently, I've been loving this NARS pencil sharpener because it has a big and a small hole. And for NYX pencils, you need to buy this because I could not find a sharpener that fits um, my NYX pencils, and this one does by NARS. It's like eight dollars, plus eight dollars I've ever spent. And then I've seen this. My well, we're not really friends anymore. But, um, that was kind of like a bitch. Like, well, I'll go see my friend, but, you know, he leaves friends. Anyways, my past friend showed me this eyebrow trimmer from the dollar store, and I got it a while back, and I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but it's honestly a life-changing thing, and I was so scared to use it the first time I used it. But I love it to get rid of unibrows and just, you know, loose hair, whatever. Best thing you get at the dollar store it, um, is the color pink. You just need one... Um, AAA battery and you're good to go. So yeah, I definitely love this and I love everything that I showed you guys in this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also let me know in the comments below what you want to see next week and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Also don't forget to subscribe for my giveaway and yeah, I love you guys. Bye.